What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you let's get to the content? Okay, man, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about the beef that's going on between Wack 100 and J Diggs, man. And the supposed squabble that was supposed to be in took place between the two well whack 100 and a st louis goon man is having an argument about that very thing man and whack 100 is pretty much trying to explain to him that there's been so much disrespect between himself and between jay diggs that this thing may be beyond the squabble right because it's now then trickle over into a disrespectful realm you can't dictate a person's response or what rules to the game a person is going to play when it comes down to the confrontation and whack 100 is saying he don't believe that jay diggs is built like that it is interesting i'm gonna let y'all get to it shout out to wag 100 shout out to death of the cloud chaser this is getty radio let's go so so so, so what happened i don't understand that miscommunication with jay diggs then I don't, like, nigga, I don't know that bro. I don't know that nigga. What about you, with him, you don't understand? I don't know that. That's what I do understand. So I when get he, you say you don't when know him. When he start popping it, I'm a pop it. But this what kills me about some of these people, and I and maybe I'm confused. These niggas be claiming they street niggas, and niggas then went past the threshold, and everybody be online screaming about a squabble, and I be scratching my head about. What streets you come from? When you violate a mama, a kid, a nigga homie, rob a nigga, you, you didn't went past the threshold. So I'm like, yo, bro, why you stuck on that? Because where we at with this is this, and we shouldn't be doing no talking. When we bump, we bump, kill it. I don't, just stop talking, stop screaming my name. Because it's like you, you alerting. Because we, where we at? And the shit you screaming ain't what it is. But you supposed to be a street nigga. Where I come from, we if I if baby runner catch me and stick a gun in my mouth and say whack, strip yourself, he know I'm not finna be screaming when I see you with some squabble. It's on. So why is these niggas keep ooh like bro? What it? First of all, yo act like I didn't ran into the nigga, then nothing happened. Second of all, why is he still screaming a squabble? No, you didn't got yourself in a situation that nigga you gonna be forced to face to deal with. So basically, you saying it's past the squabble. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna squabble on one on one. I'm not saying nothing. I'm saying if you from the streets, you know the fucking code of the streets. The code of the streets. I thought it if I kick your mama, if I kick your mama in her ass, you looking to squabble? Too disrespectful. It ain't. I mean, it could even be worse, bro. You're not talking about fighting. Nah, see, yeah, bro. It, they, it don't. It don't matter. It don't matter if you a shit. You could be a bitch. Okay, well. <laughs> Now, nah, when you see, when y'all see each other, it's gonna go however it's gonna go. <laughs> nigga. Right. I gotta right. set up. Let's set up a fight. Fuck all that. What's up? It's up. The fuck you talking about? Hey, I'm glad you said something. Beast. Didn't you apologize when you had the wrong information about what JD said? If I apologize, I apologize. So fucking what? No, I'm just saying. What's it, what's it, why, why you keep running back to that though? Famous. I'm trying to see what's up with you. Now, okay, then shut your. Yo, so end the day, I tell people this. And that's the thing about really coming from this shit. You better not leave the house telling yourself, everybody's just going to want to fight me. You the type of nigga I don't want to get into it with because I know no, you're No, I'm not saying that. I said if you set say. up a fur a one. Hey, bro, I, I don't leave think, out the house bro. ready for war every day. Hey, bro, bro, I, I don't think. Listen, where you from, bro? St. Louis. Yeah, no. stop talking to me then, bro. Like, yeah, St. Louis. You, maybe you don't get St. It, Louis, what niggas got to leave? Listen, listen to me, bro. It's been many situations, bro. Well, we could have went to the child hall and just beat niggas up. We decided to stab niggas up. You can't tell us how to handle what we going, how we feeling about something, bro. Like, you just can't. What'd you say, what? <laughs> Why well, there been in situations where we could have just went to the yard, went to the child hall with hands? No, nigga, we going to do it how we want to do it, when we want to do it, how we want to do it. It's bitches around that could have got slapped up, but because of their action, they out of here. Like, so I don't get Yeah, I'm lost about the child hall now. I thought we were some, um, I'm confused. I know you lost. I'm confused. We you changing don't come from where we come from. 
come from what? The workhouse? I've been in the workhouse. That ain't shit to... I don't know what I don't talk about that shit. What the f*** is a workhouse? What the f*** is a workhouse? They shut it down in St. Louis. What the f*** is a workhouse? He's complaining child hard. He's complaining. What the f*** is a workhouse? He's complaining. Listen, he's complaining. A warehouse cafeteria is what he's thinking about. He said jail, man. <laughs> what, like, we talking about when you run the ass out the tour, fool. Yo, what I'm telling you is this, bro. And I say hey, this. Hey, some get new wardrobe, man. Can't no beast 285 pounds. A Turango that did four bids. He know how to handle this. You know how many soft niggas did that's four bids? Okay, that's cool. Not, hey, listen. Not where he come from or where he had to do his time. Man, beast is a beast. Going for Everybody that. know that. That's cool. Now, this, this is the thing. Dirty. Right? This the thing. I'm telling you, all you niggas. Hey, wait, 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 what part of St. Louis you from? <laughs> Uh-oh. Pile on. I'm going to send you a location. Uh-oh. There you go. Send it, send it right now, You talking all this shit. Listen, you talking all this shit like niggas don't have That's cool. Send there, the bro. location. I would get you. Stuff, send bro. the location. Stop it ain't nothing else to talk about. Send the location. Warrior shit. Buster send the location. Send the location. Buster ass send the location. Send the location, nigga. He, he gonna want to squabble. Let's just set up a friendly fade. I just want to squabble. I just, but you talk about a squabble all of a sudden, and now you talk about you like that. Get the f out of here, weirdo. You better go make a song with Murphy Lee and them niggas and go to the Golden Arches and do something with your. I don't know who the little nigga is, but you know, Jay Diggs shouldn't have poisoned his son and killed him with that fentanyl lean. So, you know, wasn't he the one that set up Mac Dre too in St. Louis or out there somewhere? The crazy part about it is that would be crazy. We don't even be knowing these. YouTube bandit. They all they they sit there, they study YouTube for about nine months and they said one day I'm gonna be able to talk to Wack and then they just start saying a bunch of weird shit. And I'm telling niggas that, hey bro, I don't know what streets y'all come from, but don't know nigga dictate what level of violence a nigga then swallow that disrespect that. It just this just don't happen. A squabble is really a form of respect, a gesture of respect. <clears throat> Violations lead to a nigga being violated. And I, another thing I tell these niggas, bro, if you screaming what come out your mouth, what come from over here, you don't tell me how it's supposed to go. You niggas still trying to figure it out. Eric B and Rakim, they made a song, bro, called Follow the Leader. You don't tell the leaders, nigga, how it's supposed to go. You niggas is still catching up to what, what, what's for what it's supposed to be. So I don't even talk to you niggas about that kind of shit. That's y'all jungle. Let that y'all do what y'all do in your jungle. But don't tell the niggas that... Who jungle you trying to mimic nigga, what it's supposed to be, bro? I'm sorry, nigga. I'm not trying to hear you. Then you got a soft, non-violent nigga telling me when it should and shouldn't be violent. Yeah, that shit just went left out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, St. Louis nigga, he been YouTube studying. And now he wanna, you know. Uh, you know them St. Louis niggas super tough on Clubhouse. That's how all you niggas I ain't taking nothing from him. I can't even argue with you. I don't argue with you. I ain't hey, taking I'm a nothing. Soft from you me. right. I'm soft. I ain't taking nothing from him. I'm just simply saying some shit, bro. You can't nigga when niggas is fucking with kids and all that. And look, that's why you, I say I, I never say what y'all should and shouldn't do. Look, you can't question. tell me nigga how to handle my candle. Yeah, I can't never tell a man how to handle a candle. I never hey, will. You okay? Never will. Don't I just nice seen a nigga blow a nigga shit over a five dollar dice I game. No I said, nigga over on no app, man. And I said to myself, you killed that nigga over five out of die. He gonna say his principal whack, and he gonna go do his time. You finna do thirty nigga over five dollars, nigga. I done you ten. But to him, it meant that. So that's why I don't. Y'all got to know who you dealing with, bro. I agree with that. You know, I got some homies that'll fight the world and ain't gonna kill shit. And I got some homies that ain't gonna fight a midget, gonna kill everything. Everybody got their preference on how they handle shit, bro. My thing is, once it's up there, stop calling on the police and stop saying shit and let it happen. That way, I, either one of us got a chance at getting away and beating it, right? Niggas is giving the DA the motive. Who they found? Well, well, well who was this? Who was it? Oh, this guy, this guy, he been screaming his name every day for two years. Niggas, stop screaming my name. Niggas. We friends, my nigga. All love. Niggas. Did you get the gifts I sent you for Christmas? Great. Let's do that. All this keep screaming and keep the attention over here, and I'm keep the attention over here. Nah, nigga. all I want to do it. Nah, I ain't no all you want. I ain't no all you want. No, all you want. It's all that. Not a lot of niggas. All they wanted to do 
No, no. Yeah. I'm prepared for everything. But I don't think he that kind of nigga keeping it real. You don't think who the kind of nigga J did? I don't think I don't think he that kind of nigga. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I don't think he playing it. Our niggas is playing it. I don't know. Maybe talk, maybe maybe talking highly of that nigga cub in the bay, bro. Nah, uh, not 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 with that. I hear you, you know shit. They say he a hustler and he whatever, but all the rest of the shit. But I didn't see niggas pull up on his block. Your boy Blue Da Vinci even said he was like that. Nah, no, he didn't. Blue said, "Whack, he a fight. He ain't doing other shit." All right, we're going to leave it right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wack 100, man, finally addressing the J. Diggs beef, man. And a lot of people be in my comment section all the time asking about the J. Diggs beef whenever Wack 100 gets into a confrontation with a clubhouser or a person that's on mic, you know, confronting him. Wack 100 is always talking about getting it in, where you at, pulling up and things like that. So people are always wondering, what's up with J. Diggs, man? And he just explained himself right there for everybody, man. I don't think everybody's going going to accept his answer but he's pretty much saying they're beyond that man this is a thing that's going to cross over into the streets and we don't know how it's going to play out if whack 100 and j Diggs ever runs into each other right whack is saying hey man we don't know how far this is going to go he done disrespected j Diggs. j Diggs done disrespected him listen whack 100 just said it in the audio man j Diggs is responsible allegedly for the death of his son whack said it in the damn audio again he disrespected him again right he doubled down again and pretty much said he don't even think that jay diggs is built like that he don't think jay diggs is pretty much about the gunplay or about the foot soldier stuff that's what whack 100 is talking about because he said blue da vinci said that hey jay diggs will squabble right he will throw some hands but whack 100 is saying when it comes to that other thing man we already know what he's talking about he don't think jay diggs is really about that he don't think he would take it there he don't think he built for that he don't think he about that kind of action man listen i'm gonna be straight up man i don't want neither one of these dudes to run into each other man because i already know man y'all think that whack 100 is afraid of jd's because the squabble hasn't taken place yet i think whack 100 knows that this thing is beyond that man and it can get real bad law enforcement can get involved right he spoke about that in the audio if you were listening to the audio he pretty much said hey man stop saying my name because you're giving the da a motive right he's talking about how far it can go and somebody can end up in the penitentiary and whack 100 is pretty much saying hey one of us can get away with this if you stop saying my name right meaning he's talking about the great fall man he's talking about untimely demises and things like that man i don't want them to run into each other because i don't think whack 100 is afraid of jay diggs and i don't think jay diggs is afraid of whack 100 right so when two people like that clash it can end very bad man i know this is entertainment for me i wanted to stay on wax like we used to say back in the day keep it on wax let them keep throwing jabs at each other and leave it where it is man because this thing can get really diabolical man beast made an appearance man packed up the st louis goon man beast has been gone and missing for a while people have been wondering where beast is at but he showed up man and did not miss a beat man already coming in with disrespect talking crazy acting crazy bumpy was there to join in on the whole festivities right this was a very good audio right here man but how do you guys feel about this man i think whack 100 and jay diggs maybe should not ever run into each other man i know you guys want that i know man in every pack up video in every video whack 100 is going off on somebody i got at least 10 people in my comment section talking about what about the j Diggs squabble whack 100 ran from j Diggs. whack don't want the j Diggs smoke i don't believe that man i don't think that he's afraid of any of that i think he's really looking at it like hey this is real street beef let's not talk about it if we run into each other it goes down the way it goes down man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section man this has been getty radio i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace